Um, what I want to do is basically give you a brief overview of this year's event. Uh, a number of you I know came down to Harbour and thank you for those that supported us. And for those that didn't, you should have been there because we had a fantastic show. Um, the first of its type in the UK, and in fact, to the best of our knowledge, the first um, sort of show of its type in the world. And what we're trying to do really is respond to feedback that we've had through the industry. Um, many of you know we're associated and work very closely with the show for magazine, um, who are very much a touch point um, on the industry. And through their feedback, we've been able to design a show um, for the industry, uh, run by the industry. And uh, this year we had 2,300 operators, chauffeurs, and what we call professional drivers. And by that we mean people who earn uh, their living out there every day, uh, driving taxis, driving minicabs, licensed vehicles, chauffeur, uh, executive vehicles and limousines. Um, this event is purely for the trade, so no general public, you can't get to come to this event unless you are registered uh, beforehand. Um, and what we're really hoping to do really is uh, give both major car marks like Mercedes-Benz, BMW and so on, as well as taxi firms, the best opportunity to meet with the industry, launch new products, and, and so on and so forth. What's different about our show, and why I say it's the first of its type in the world, is it's three shows in one. A traditional exhibition, a driving opportunity, so this year we had eight different manufacturers with vehicles out on a five and ten mile circuit, and a series of professionally run seminars, and this year we were fortunate to have those up um, and a number of other industry bodies present um, to the industry on particular topics which were important to them. So, what's new for next year? Well, we'll hope to have um, Jaguar back again, and Lexus, and BMW, Mercedes, and Sanyong, but we're also going to basically reach out and attack what we call the big market. So, uh, we're in cons consultation and discussions at the moment with Ford, uh, with General Motors, with Toyota, uh, and so on and so forth, as well as also the taxi presenters, so LTI and so on. We're also moving venue. Um, Farm Rebel was great. It was a great way to start the show this year. Uh, but some of the feedback we had was that we really wanted to find a venue that would allow us to explore the vehicles in more detail, compare and contrast their merits back to back. And for that reason, we are moving to the Transport Research Laboratories in Crowthorn in Berkshire. Very well located in between the M4 and the M5. Pretty easy to get to for London and the South East. Um, fantastic broadcast facility, close to two and a half mile track, which you can see there in its glory, uh, which has on this track various different road surfaces, replicating the sorts of roads you find around the UK. And in the centre, which you probably can't make out amongst those trees, is what they call the small road system, which is just over two and a half kilometres, uh, which replicates A and B roads. So we have a perfect environment to explore and contrast vehicles of all dimensions, shapes and sizes. And you'll also see in the top right-hand corner there, a very large skid pan. We will be building a uh, facility, a temporary structure, to house 3,000 square metres of exhibition space, uh, alongside which we will also have two purpose-built seminar rooms. We'll also be having a pit lane for all the manufacturers, and this year, um, I say this year, for 2009, we will for the very first time be having manufacturers not just outside with their promotional units and their vehicles, but inside too. Um, and we're also looking to expand beyond the car manufacturers, and the quick look there at the layout of the, uh, the venue. A couple of other things to notice, uh, we'll have a professional driver's lounge, uh, where people who are entering the industry for the first time, they want to get information on insurance, vehicle purchase, finance, recruitment and so on, will be able to go to a lounge and get information from experts in each of those fields. And we'll also be reaching out to the other sales market. Um, this year we have a number of insurance companies and finance companies come along to get the tire manufacturers. Um, E-car entertainment GPS we just spoken about, hopefully we'll be getting a few of those along. But what's also important obviously is to make sure that we cover all areas of the business and we'll have both uh, manufacturers from what I call mid-range vehicles through to the taxi manufacturers like LTI. So a lot of reasons to come to next year's show. In summary, I think I've done it under seven and a half minutes. Right up. You're wrong. Driver Line is very much what the chauffeur industry needs. Um, it's very much an opportunity for the private hire and taxi industries to get together. Um, this show, in terms of looking at the profile of the people that came to this year's event, um, appeals to the whole country, but we find about 50-55% of the people who came this year come from London and the South East. Um, it's a good location. We think we can offer a much broader range 
of reasons to come and for both exhibitors and obviously importantly um, the industry. And also it creates a platform for a number of firsts. We are in hoping, fingers crossed, to have the new um, Mercedes E Plus at the event for the very first time. Um, that vehicle will be shown in the UK. We're also talking to a couple of other manufacturers about product launches at the event. So um, they are taking the show for industry seriously, and we want to make sure we create a show that reflects your needs and will grow over time. Um, you will find also the fact that we are looking to promote and develop a thing called the QSI Awards. Now, the QSI Awards was set up a year ago really to give recognition to the industry uh, in three areas quality, service, and innovation. Um, the awards for 2009 will be expanded to include MPV class and uh, license carried vehicles. Um, and the awards will be uh, operated and managed by the Chauffeur Magazine in Association with Stephen at the HCA. There will be a gala event during the 2009 show, which will take place at the Beresley Hotel on the 21st of March.